Hi, I'm Daegyoku from IDAS IT. I'm very glad to be here to introduce MIDAS Gen, window-based general purpose structure analysis and optimal design system based on the finite element analysis. MIDAS Gen is used in many different areas such as stadium, power plant, hangar, airport, and underground structure. Here is the contents for today's training webinar. Topic for today is introduction of reinforcement concrete design. I will practice the multi-story for those who are not familiar with RC design and also introduce the capacity design. Then after Q&A, I will send you the email about survey. In survey, there are some questions. Also in the last question of the survey, you can check on whether you want to get certificate or not. Survey will be sent in two days after this webinar. If you have any question, please use the question windows. I will give you the answer end of this training webinar. Okay, let's start. Um, following features are available in Midas Gen for the RC structure, concrete code design, and code check of the beam, column, and wall is available. Also, seismic zone. We can uh, for the seismic zone, we can perform the RC stone column with beam design. Also, slab and wall design um, for the plate element is available. For the footing, uh, we can design the isolated footings and pied footings are available. Uh, for the steel design, we can design the general frame, also still optimal design is implemented. For the steel design, I will do the training webinar in April. The following tables shows the summary of Eurocode implementation in Midas 10. Beam column, wall, and slab design are supported for ULS and SLS limit state design. Uh, for the beam and column, uh, we can design um, bending moment with and without extra force and shear design. And for the wall, the bending and shear is available. For the slab, punching shear checking is possible. For the wall, in plate stress also, we can design. Uh, in the serviceability limit state design, you can perform the stress limitation and crack control and deflection uh, control. Uh, stress limitation and crack control and deflection control is available for the gen uh, for the slab. Mm. This table shows the available design code in current gen. You can see the RC still. SRC design code for the America, European, BS, Indian, and Canadian, Chinese, Japan, and many international building code. Those are implemented. Today we have the general session for design procedure in Midas Gen. The main purpose for this online training is to introduce some useful feature of Midas Gen focusing on the member design for the concrete structures. Also through this session, you can build your capability of effective implementation. Um, the second chapter here, the purpose is to learn RC frame and wall design features. In the practice example, I will introduce the important steps uh, from the RC design and features. Let's see the detail of RC frame design first. This shows the available section for the RC design. For the beam, you can design rectangular and T-shaped section, as you can see in this picture. Also, for the column, we can design rectangular, circular, and pipe section. 
and for the wall, we can design straight wall using wall elements. We can also design combined wall using plate element. We have two different functions for RC design. First one is RC code design and the other one is RC code checking. For the design, program will give you the required rebar area, size, number of rebar, and spacing. For user, uh, define, uh, for, uh, for user defined sections, um, based on the results, you can um, automatically enter the rebar data to the member or you can manually enter the rebar data as well. After that, if you made any change in rebar data, you may need to verify the member again. Based on your desired design code, you can use the check function. So after you enter your own reinforcement or make any modification, then you can perform the check. And you know whether um, this uh, the building or the model is satisfied uh, design code or not. Program perform the column design by using 3D PM interaction curve to calculate the each resistance. Um, I will introduce the mesh slab and wall design as well. This mesh slab and wall design used for the plate element. When you perform the slab design, we use the wood armor formula, which is worldwide used for the slab design. And we can consider the smooth movement, so slab flexure design, serviceability checking, uh, punching shear checking, wall design can be performed. For the wall design, program provides the rebar spacing and diameter and required rebar area and required rebar ratio and also resistance ratio can be checked. There are two approaches for modeling wall in Mida stand. The first one is using wall element and the other one is using plate element. Plate element is often used to model wall for low rise building and it is possible to match horizontal and vertical direction. As you can see in this model, wall element in minus gen is often used to model shear wall for medium and high rise building. With the help of the wall, wall element, we can check design force of shear wall in convenient way. However, there is limitation that division of wall element uh, between the story is not allowed. It. With this example, we will learn reinforced concrete design features in Midas Gen. This model is six-story building consists with beam, column, and wall. I will apply Eurocode 2. for this building and this example is intended to illustrate the design procedure um, for the uh, design pro sorry design procedure as per Eurocode then the geometry creation and boundary assignment load application will be skipped mm. I will show the show you the model here uh, in this model, we do not include the slab, but consider with the rigid as a rigid diagram. First of all, we need to generate the load combination. Go to Result and click Combinations. In this dialog box, user should generate the load combination in the Steel Des Design tab here to apply Steel Design function. Similarly, concrete design tab for concrete design function, uh, load combination generated uh, in the general tab here. 
are considered but are not considered for the design function. In this time, I will auto generate the load combination for concrete. Go to concrete design tab here and click auto generation and select the code and click OK. If you generate the load combination, program automatically provide both positive and negative direction of the wind load. So user mm, do not need to define the both directions. Also, user can modify or manually input the load combination. Uh, also, uh, using the spreadsheet form here, click this one, a uh, user can copy and paste from their own Excel file. OK, and close, and perform the analysis. Next, uh, I will define the design code in this dialog box. Go to design and select the concrete design parameter design code here. Um, in minus 10, we have, as I earlier mentioned, uh, we have the many country codes, for instance, America, Europe, China, BS, Japanese, and such. In this time, I will select the Euro code and click OK. Go to design and general design parameter and uh, definition of frame. Select the structure, structure braced and non sway type with respect to global x and y direction and click OK. Actually, remember this beam uh, is actually uh, one element but divided into two elements because of the this cell beam. So uh, with the member assignment function, go to design, general design parameter, and member assignment. Click this function. Uh, we can uh, specify these two elements as a single member. Click automatic, select all, beam and click apply program automatically recognize the separated member as a single member and click close mm -hmm. go to design again click the general design parameter and click modify live load reduction factor we will use the live load reduction factors to reduce the live load uh, for column, shear wall, or uh, foundation when calculating the required extra strength. Enter basic data required to calculate the live load reduction factor. Uh, for the first floor, um, to select it, I will use the select elements by identifying this function. Go to select type is the story, and I only select the first floor and input the uh, reduction factor here the first floor I input the 0 0.82 and apply it for the second floor go again story second floor add and exclude the floor and it should be 0 0.85 and click apply and next for the third floor, add, also delete the floor, and it should be 0 0.9 for the reduction factor and apply. Uh, next, uh, go to design again, general design parameter, and select the unbraced length. If 0 is entered for LY and LZ, unbraced length will be calculated by the program based on the nodal coordinates of the beam elements. 
So just leave it zero and do not consider full laterally embraced length and select all and click apply. Next I will input the partial safety factor. Go to the concrete design pa parameter and click partial safety factors for uh, material property. We can enter the strength reduction factor which are a form of safety factors to account for the difference between the no uh, nominal and real strengths of the materials. Also, difference in member strengths between the design and manufacturing or construction. So, click update by code button and click OK. But when the strength reduction factor is not entered, strength reduction factor is specified in the current design code. And click OK. Next, uh, go to design and concrete design parameter again. Click this modify concrete material. Um, in this time, uh, in this uh, in this function, is used to modify a part of the steel rebar and concrete material property data entered during the creation of analysis model, or to change the material property data. So in this time, I will change the rebar sec uh, data. Select the euro code. And for the main river, class B and class A for the sub river, and click modify and close. I show you one of the useful feature. Uh, go to tool and preference, and click the design. In the preference design tab, you can define the default of design code river data. If you want to use the a ASTM Riba data, you can just select it here to ASTM and click OK. To check it, uh, the, to check the change, uh, go to Design tab and select the Design uh, criteria for rebars. This function here and click this rebar. You can see the ASTM, the rebar data, is activated. However, in this time, I will use the euro code. So go to Design tab and select the euro code. Click OK. And again, if you go to the uh, design criteria for rebar, you can see the only the euro code is activated. Okay, in this dialog box, uh, we can enter the standard size of the main and sub rebars, which is stored up used in the design of beam, column, and brace member. Also, we are able to enter the standard size and spacing for body car and horizontal rebar used in the design of shear wall members. This function enables the user to design reinforced concrete by assigning different rebar type by beam. Uh, for the rebar, uh, for the beam, I will change the rebar size 20 to uh, 20, P20 and P25. And ODT is 0 0.055 and DB. 0 0.055 and dt and db uh, are the distance from the surface of concrete to the center of rebars and also change the column design here um, the size is the p25 and 32 and do is same 0 0.55 and for the wall I will select the 13, P13, and 13 for P13 for horizontal labor, and uh, DE also 0 0.45 in this time, 0 
and if you click this button input additional liver uh, wall data uh, actually sure wall design has has the two different methods method one does not consider and rebar this method one does not consider and rebar but vertical rebars are uniformly contributed along the cross section and method 234 consider high contribution of end rebar to the flexural strength so large number of rebars are placed at the end zone of the cross section click ok and click ok uh, next I will do perform the design for the beam go to design tab Concrete code design and beam design. You can see the result in this dialog box here. Um, Midas Gem provide the one page summary report. Click this graphic and you can see the design information and section data. In section data, you can see the rebar spacing, diameter, and number of rebars. Also provide the checking ratio for the bending moment capacity and shear capacity. Uh, we have the detailed report as well. In detailed report, we have the strength verification results in the form of detailed calculation for the selected member. Uh, the section for design function, go to design, select the section for design, this function. Uh, provide the member design of concrete sections based on the um, section data defined by the user. It allows uh, you to find the appro appropriate section without the analysis. Member design and strength verification of structure, steel, and concrete section based on the section data defined by the user in this time I will select 413 this section and click modify I increase the height and width just 0 0.05 meter here and click OK and close and go to the property sort by property and click this uh, 413 which I just change it and click recalculate program automatically recalculate select all and update rebar uh, by checking update rebar button the rebar design uh, designed in this dialog box will be automatically entered into the selected sections Mm, you can see the input data in the works tree. Go to property. You can see the detail input data. And you can modify here the rebar, size of the rebar, and number, as you can see here. As, as the beam, we can check the graphic and detail summary in the column design. So, perform the column design, uh, concrete code design, and column design.
As I mentioned, we can check the graphic and detail summary in the column design. Sort by num member and graphic design with the PM interaction curve and detail report with the detail formulas. Um, uniquely, uh, for the uh, column design, you can see the PM interaction curve. Um, you can see the PM interaction curve here. Applicable for the factor actual force and by actual moment. And select all and update rebar. In the walk tree as well. You can see the input data for the column for rebar input data. Uh, for the wall design, go to Design tab and click Wall Wall Design here. Using the results obtained from the analysis of the entire structure and additional uh, design data, program can automatically design concrete wall members according to design code. As you can see, you also check the one-page summary report for the wall and detail formula. And the CD PM curve, this PM curve. I will, uh, I will introduce the wall ID with detailed explanation. In order to reflect true stiffness of combined wall, individual wall elements are assigned with the wall ID. This wall ID. Member force of the wall element are produced for each story by wall IDs. If two or more wall ID at a given floor are numbered with the same wall ID, they are recognized as a single wall structure, and each element force is combined together for the force output. If the wall element assigned with the identical wall ID, as here, but different uh, look, uh, dif uh, but located at the different floors are recognized as the distinct wall structure. Accordingly, uh, it would be the advisable to assign the same wall ID to all wall elements located in the same plan through all the floors. For the C here, you can see different wall ID are assigned for the each wall and showing the different result for each wall as well. Here you can see. Uh, in Midas Gen, the direction of the walls should be the same to get the um, design result. For instance, this 
D figures, you can see the assigned same wall ID, but the direction of the wall is not the straight line. Uh, so Midas Gen cannot provide the result for the design this combined wall. Uh, however, here the figure E, you can see the three walls in here are assigned a uh, single and same the wall ID with the same direction. So um, you can assign the same wall ID and it is available and is it possible to see the results. Next, I will manually enter the rebar data through the modify beam section data dialog box. Go to design and select the, con uh, select the concrete design parameter and click the modify beam rebar data. Uh, in this time I will change 412 this section. Change the top and bottom rebar adding more and then change the stirrup the size of the stirrup. and click the add and replace replace and close uh, perform the beam check in the beam check as you can see 412 as I changed you can see the graphic one, one page summary report with detailed RIVA data and the ratio for the bending moment and shear capacity also you can see the detailed report with the detailed formulas go to design and concrete design parameter and modify concrete material click this function again click this three dot and you can see the short long term elastic ratio here. Uh, for the serviceability check, the ratio of the modulus of elasticity of reinforcement to the modulus of elasticity of concrete for the short term and long term can be entered. And go to design in general design parameter and click the serviceability load combination type once the load combination is generated using the auto generation the program automatically assign the quasi permanent here the frequent and characteristic load combinations go to concrete design parameter and select the serviceability parameters. You can define the stress parameter, control parameter of the crack and deflection for serviceability check. In this time I will specify some of the sections. So go to select type and select the section and 411 to 422. Click add and apply serviceability check is provided for the beam member for stress limit tension and crack control and deflection control with the result of analysis and additional design data program will automatically design concrete beam member according to design. Go to design and concrete design code check and beam check.
and certify the member and click the serviceability wizard and then see the graphic and detail report here also you can see the summary report Thank you for your listening and next I will introduce the slab design. Uh, in Midas Gen, slab uh, deflection check considering the uh, cracked section can be performed using cracked section analysis feature. In the first training webinar, I explained the procedure for general design process of slabs and walls. Therefore, today I will explain how to check cracking deflection in slabs. This is the plan and elevation view for this model. This model is 5-story building and applied code is zero code. Four different loads are applied as following. I will show the demonstration. Uh, I will show the model. Just click and drag and drop the model in the program. Okay. Uh, let's start the slab deflection check. First of all, we need to generate the load combination. Go to Wizard and click the Load Combinations, select the Concrete Design tab, and select Auto Generation here. Select the code, in this time I will use the Euro code, and click OK. The load combination is automatically generated by the program. Then let's perform the analysis. and go to design tab and mesh slab wall design and click this serviceability load combination type crack deflection can be checked only by quasi permanent serviceability load combination type uh, serviceability load combination type is automatically classified if auto generation function has been used to generate the load combinations if the user manually defined load combinations, serviceability load combination type must be defined by the user. If serviceability load combination type is not specified, slab serviceability checking is not performed. We need to select the load combination for the slab and wall design. Go to design tab and select the meshed slab wall design and click slab wall load combination crack section analysis will be performed for the quasi permanent load combinations selected in the deflection this cracked field let's define the uh, deflection limit go to design and mesh slab wall design and serviceability parameters. Uh, slab length here L can be automatically recognized by the program as a uh, sub -dom uh, domain um, length. In this time, I will select all member and click apply using a default value. 
Okay. Uh, correct, uh, correct section analysis can be performed for the element which contain the rebar data. Let's input the rebar data in this model. I only input the rebar data for the fourth floor. Activate only fourth floors. And we can input the rebar data for the, as you can see, this column zone here. And remaining zones separately. I already defined two different structure groups for the convenience of the selecting element. Okay. Then uh, go to design and again make slab wall design and click this uh, slab walls rebar for checking. I identify the data for S1. Uh, S1. Let's uh, exclude the column zone. So input the Riva data here. 150. 12. 12. 150. Okay. And add and replace. And for the S2, which is the column zone here, I will input the Uber data, change it, okay, and add and replace. You can see the input result in the walks tree. Also, using the display, this uh, dialog box, go to design and select the subdomain rebar direction and mesh slab rebar data and activate it. You can see the S2 here around the column zone and S1. You can define it. Okay, go back and check off again. Okay, um, as the program used to update effective second moment of the area uh, during the correct section analysis, convenience, the criteria and iteration number need to be entered. So go to design and mesh lab wall design and click. Uh, the correct section analysis control and define 0 0.01 for the conversion tolerance and perform the correct analysis here. Click this perform correct section analysis. Correct section on uh, correct uh, correct section analysis is performed for all the slabs which contain riba data. Uh, to check the cracking deflection, go to Design tab, again, Mesh Slab Wall Design, and Slab Serviceability uh, Checking here. Click the deflection and cracked. Now we also want to see the crack point with the value. Click apply and again for the ratio, click apply. Now we can check the deflection considering cracked section.
diffraction ratio comparing to the diffraction limit is dis displayed in this model view and if you click the design result here button to check the detailed result as a report effective second second moment of the area can be checked for the direction 1 and direction 2 separately and it also contains the deflection limit by subdomain Uh, select the creep here option and value and click apply to see long term cracking deflection so far I introduced the slab deflection checking by cracked section analysis in next I will introduce the capacity design RC capacity design For the capacity design, I will use the similar model as previous one. Just click and drag and drop. This is the similar model as the first one. Um, in the PPT, you can see um, this is the seismic design procedure. First, first of all, uh, perform requirement um, will be determined and then ground condition. Next, we will define the seismic action as a static seismic load and response spectrum load and generate the load combination. And based on the regularity of the structure, we will decide the method of analysis whether we can perform the static seismic load pushover analysis or in elastic time history analysis. After that, we will perform seismic analysis. Safety verification is also required. Finally, we will perform the capacity design with detailing. This capacity design based on the Eurocode 8 Italian code which is NTC 2008 and American standard. In minus 10 we can perform the strong column and weak beam design. In capacity design beam failure should occur earlier than column failure. Also uh, moment failure should be occur first before the shear failure. Ductility design can be performed for the high and middle ductility class. Midas Gen is capable to do the capacity design for the beam, column, wall, and beam, column joint. Even, uh, even those detailings are considered in the capacity design. In order to satisfy the capacity design rule, uh, design moment will be determined with those formulas. Based on those to the uh, beam, this one and this one, beam moment, program determine the top and bottom. This top and this bottom, the column design moment. For the shear force, first of all, the shear force will be determined based on the moment resistance of the beam. It means moment failure will always occur before the shear failure. Also for the column, it will use to moment res resistance to calculate the design shear force. For the wall, same rules are applied. For the different type of the wall, such as the wall system, and your system 
we apply the different formula according to the specified code to calculate design moment and shear forces. You can find those formula in your code. Program also considers this uh, design envelope for the design force and detailing of the walls. With this example, I will uh, explain the capacity design feature in Midas Jam. This model is six-story building and consists with the beam, column, and wall. I apply Euro code for this building. Actually, four different loads, as you can see here, uh, are applied. Uh, I already input the load for the floor load. Um, live and dead load for here. And the wind load, and state, static seismic load, and response spectrum. And for the bound collision, as you can see, uh, the fixed support conditions are applied at the base of the building. Let's perform the analysis first. Okay, it is done. Uh, as previous, this beam is actually a single beam. This beam is actually a single member, uh, as I mentioned earlier, but divide by the sub beam here. So in this time, also I will use the member assignment, go to design tab, general design parameter, and click the member assignment. And automatic all, and click apply, the program automatically no, uh, make a single member, which was the divide by two elements. Let's set the design code next. Uh, go to design and concrete design parameter in design code here and um, in this time I will use the euro code here and click this capacity design check check it on and let's click this three dots set up the structure type this is the dual system and behavior factor should be calculated by the program or user can input but in this time I will select the, this one calculate it by program and default uh, function for the elastic uh, response spectrum should be euro code and click OK and for the ductility class I, I will select the, I select the medium ductility and click OK. Go to the design and click this uh, concrete design parameter and click this design criteria for reverse. As I mentioned earlier, in this dialog box, we can enter the standard size of the main and sub reverse to be used in the design of beam, column, and brace members. We are able to input the standard size and spacing for the vertical and horizontal rebar to be used in the design of the shear wall members. In beam design, click rebar and select the size of the rebar and also click the rebar for the column and select the size. I will use this the value and click OK. Next, I will perform the ductility design. On ductility design menu is used uh, when the user perform beam and column design for entire beam and column members in the model at once. So go to design and RC stone column weak beam 
um, select it and click the ductility design Uh, also, we can design some parts of the beams and column which you selected. Make sure the select all the beam and column which are connected at the joint because design moment of the column are calculated based on those the beams. Unlike uh, non-seismic design, capacity design take more time because the beam and column design are performed at the same time. As you can see, the program performed the beam design first and then column design. Please wait for a few minutes. And as I mentioned earlier in the beginning of this training webinar, in April, I will do the training webinar for the steel design. So please participate for the training webinar for next month to um, get more the knowledge and information about the steel design. And all of the question, question that you wonder, I will answer uh, right after this demonstration. So please use the question window and I will answer for you. Okay, uh, ductility design is completed. Mm. For the go, uh, first of all, I want to show you the checking the strong column weak beam ratio. Go to design and select the RC strong column uh, weak beam and click this strong column weak beam ratio. Uh, this function provides the flexural capacity ratio of the reinforced concrete column to the reinforced concrete beam. The joint for which the ratio is less than the acceptance limit are displayed with the ratio. Default value of the acceptance limit is 1.3. 
but in this time capacity ratio I would want to see all of the capacity ratio so click apply you can see the each members of the capacity ratio also go to design and again strong column with beam and you can see with the table um, strong column weak beam ratio table provide the summation sum of the design moment resistance and column and beam and the ratio of design moment resistance of column to those of beam for each joint okay go back to the dialog box here for the beam and column design uh, beam design results are same as the non seismic design except for the shear design so go to member and click the detail report so as you can see here the special provision for the seismic design to calculate the shear force are applied here uh, for the column design in order to determine the column uh, design moment program compare the member forces between the load combination and the uh, capacity design rule so as you can see here this part and so the as I mentioned right before the program compares the member force between the load combination and capacity design rule and then determine more critical case you can see there they're looking for the maximum value and display here to modify the beam and column rebar data um, go back to the design uh, column design this dialog box and select all and click update rebar and for the column uh, for the beam as well select all and click this rebar update rebar Uh, capacity design for the wall menu is same as the non seismic wall design. So go to design and concrete code design and wall design. Capacity, wall de uh, capacity design for wall can be tracked in the same manner. One page summary and the detail report. Are provide as well. See detail formula here. Okay. Um. I uh I will modify the beam rebar data. Go to design tab and concrete design parameter and click the modify beam rebar data. We can also check. The closed section with user defined rebar data based on the capacity design rule. Uh, by using this function, this dialog box, you can tune the design result suggested by the program. In this dialog box, you can enter the rebar data and the concrete cover thickness for the RC beam members for strength verification. Select number 411 sec section and change the number of rebar to 3 i and j and is already changed and for the one uh, 413 I will change the uh, startups size so it should be 150 200 uh, 100, uh, 200 and 150 
and click the add and replace and for the 414 same uh, I would only change the startup here 150 300 and 150 and click add and replace and close we need to check to verify the member again so go to design and concrete design code check and perform the beam checking so after you enter your own reinforcement or make any modification then you can perform the check to know whether it is satisfied or not so you can see the, your, uh, the modification of the Riva data is satisfied for the program you can see the graphic Riva information and detail report You can do the column as well. You can change the Riva data and perform the column checking to check whether the uh, whether the you are input the Riva data or modifi modification of the Riva data is uh, satisfied or not. Okay, I finished the capacity design and next I will introduce the useful module and option implemented in Midas Gen, which is GSD and Dynamic Report. Uh, GSD stands for the General Section Designer. Design. Uh, this module is added to the Midas Civil and Gen. So GSD define any irregular cross section and it is applicable for RC still and composite section also GST provide section property and moment curve and, P and PM uh, PMY and PM jet and MM interaction curve also calculation of the section capacity and the safety ratio based on the member force is displayed and it also plot the stress contour for all the cross sections. This steps for is using for GSD. I will demonstrate it with the program. In the program, um, the simply uh, go to. Um, I will open the different model. What you need to do is just simply go to um, just a second. Simply go to the tool tab and click the general section designer. First of all, define the material. So go to model and uh, material and add. I will use the euro code and you can select from the database. Click OK. And I will draw the shape. Mm. This is my own shape. Okay. And you can input the Viva data. Go to model and Viva data. There are five different methods that you can input the Viva data. Just click the Viva and you can change the size of the Viva. 
or uh, we have a line pattern just click and click can input the rebar with the line <coughs> and the rebar data can be changed and number of interior rebar can be also changed in this dialog box I can use the rectangular method for input the rebar or even the arch is available okay once you're done define the load combination and perform the analysis once you perform the analysis you can see the PM interaction curve MYMMZ and 3D PM interaction curve as well and you can see the stress contour with the mesh or the extra force moment is point to maximum and minimum value and also you can check the section property if you want to use this uh, section you can import into the G, GT, uh, gen minus gen just click connect and import it and once you go back to the Midas Gen, just simply click the model and select the property and go to section. You can see what I just generate this model uh, is the imported in the Gen and also the section property you can see in this dialog box. I also introduced the dynamic report function. A word format report can be generated for the selected input and output data such as the figure, table, graph, and text. Uh, using this dialog box, uh, dial, uh, dynamic report icons, you can change of the model file as automatically update into the report. So. Uh, in, in this case, I will use this model and I want to input this view in my report. So click this dynamic report images and just name it. Just one. And from the top view, I want to I also want to uh, input this view in my report and front view. And go to uh, click this dynamic report generator, this icon, and I will open the new documents. And then, if you go to uh, this report tab, you can see user defined image here. So just click and drag and drop. Uh, sorry. The image file was not correctly correctly included. Okay. Uh, just image and uh, on top view, image one, and front view, image two, and then drag and drop. You can see those image was included in the simple way with the drag and drop also uh, if you want to input more detail of the data such as the nodes story data just click and drag and drop the story data was inputted automatically and trust data and self weight data you can input with a simple way However, during you do many work like modify the model and change, uh, I will show for instance, 
during your modeling you, you delete this part and also delete this part <coughs> you don't need to capture again you just go to the report editor this, this tab this view and then click this icon dynam report auto generation and click select the figures and click regenerate as you can see model is updated automatically with the most uh, recent view so it helps you uh, to save the time to generate the uh, reports I finished the second training webinar uh, which is the concrete design the topic for April as I mentioned is still design I will introduce the still design feature at the time and next is Q&A session if you have any question feel free to ask me and if you have any additional question uh, please use the um, email you can ask all of the question through the email as well e-support at midasit.com thank you so much for your uh, attention and have a great day